What's going on guys? Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. I got a lane snapper here. I'm going to show you how to flay up. This is one of the smaller snapper species. About the average size we catch in Florida. They don't get too big, but they are full of flavor. So for little fish like this, I like a smaller flexible knife. This is our six inch Fisherman's Flex flexible fillet. I'm going to have it linked below. So what I like to do with these smaller snapper right here behind the head, go like that over the rib cage and down, take our fillet or our fish, go all the way down, knife back in on the spine, going back up. You'll see a lot of people do what they do with uh, snappers, they'll whack off the side. The reason I don't like that is because I like to go over the rib cage and over the pin bones of my snapper so that way they're not in my fillet when I'm done. And what I mean by that is right here, there's a rib cage and a set of pin bones. If I were to just whack this off, it's in my fillet. By taking the time to go over it, it is not. And honestly, it takes just as much time to do it the proper way. Or what I think is the proper way. Nice little petite snapper fillet. Same thing on this side. And it's really important when you're dealing with small fish to have a good flexible knife that really contours to the body because small fish are, you know, you don't want to overpower them with a real big knife. There's the lane snapper. See that light shining through? Now to skin it up. Always when you skin a fish, the tail end should be towards you, head end away from you. And you work away from you. And that's it. So there's one. You know, they don't have a lot of meat, but you can load up on these guys generally. And they don't take a long time to fillet. So, highly encourage you to try them if you haven't already. Now to remove the pin bones, the pin bones are a set of bones that lie about halfway down from the head to the tail along the bloodline. Take your knife on one side, on the other side, lift up, remove, and that's it. Not a very big fish, but you know, you catch two or three, you got yourself a meal. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in the knife I used today, once again, 6-inch flexible fillet. I'll have it linked below or you guys can find it at DexterOutdoors.com. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.